Hi, everyone. My name is Shu Wan, a third year PhD student at George Mason University. Our paper is titled SIV, Securing Vehicle Automatic Speech Recognition Systems. I will talk about our work on preventing malicious voice command attacks for driverless cars under different situations. First, I will talk about background and the motivation of our work. Recently, with the rapid development of sensor technologies and advanced artificial intelligence algorithms, self-driving cars or driverless cars are becoming an irreversible trend in our daily life. From 2019, all new Tesla cars come standard with the autopilot system providing to the users the capability of switching models between manual driving and self-driving. And in the early this year, Waymo's driverless car have driven 20 million miles on public roads. As a result, we believe the driverless car will become more and more popular in the future. As a most natural way for our human beings to communicate with each other, voice is also an efficient way to send commands to the driverless cars. And the largest in-vehicle voice control system provides a convenient way for drivers and passengers to interact with the driverless cars. Now you can use your voice to control the entertainment systems or set destinations to the GPS navigation systems. Automatic speech recognition is a core module of the in-vehicle voice control system. However, the automatic speech recognition system is vulnerable to virus adversarial voice command attacks. So we want to build a secure in-vehicle automatic speech recognition system to defeat these voice command attacks. By default, most in-vehicle automatic speech recognition systems support speaker independent recognition. That means the automatic speech recognition system can accept any command issued by anyone. Attackers can inject a malicious voice command into a song. And when the song is replayed using the car loudspeakers, it may cause unexpected behavior or even accidents in driverless cars. The voice commands can also be replayed through users' mobile phones. No matter the passenger's mobile phone or the driver's mobile phone can be used to perform attacks. Passengers can also issue malicious commands. For example, young children may accidentally voice wrong commands to the vehicle and control the in-vehicle systems. So the malicious commands may come from car loudspeakers, smartphone loudspeakers, or even passengers. In our work, we propose SIEV system which is a secure in-vehicle automatic speech recognition system. It can defeat virus adversarial voice command attacks on driverless cars. Our system can distinguish voice commands issued from a driver, a passenger, or non-human speakers. Here, non-human speakers means car loudspeakers and their smartphone loudspeakers. Our system can let either the driver or the passengers to control the vehicle. However, in our paper, we consider the policy that only driver can issue legal commands. Our system uses a three-step scheme. First, because legal human voice commands are always single sound signals, we detect multiple speakers and feed out multiple sound commands. Second, from the remaining single sound commands, we identify human voice and uh, feed out non-human voice coming from loudspeakers. Finally, 
by recognizing the propagation directions of the voice commands, we identify the driver's voice and filter out the passenger's voice. Then I will talk about our system design. To achieve our goal, we first analyze the internal structure in a four-seat sedan. The blue circles represent four seats for the driver, the front passenger, the rear left passenger, and the rear right passenger. The red circles represent loudspeakers. The sedan has four loudspeakers installed in four corners. In our SIV system, we deploy a dual microphone in the front of the sedan. These two microphones can capture the voice signals at the same time. We orient the dual microphone in a direction that the line connecting the two microphones is perpendicular to the line connecting the driver's seat and the midpoint of the two microphones. As a result, these two microphones are oriented with a 45 degree angle to the vehicle. We only need to easily replace a single microphone to a dual microphone in our system. And uh, our objective is to only recognize the human voice in the green region. Because legal human voice commands are always single cell signals. And uh, by default, attackers will use all the car loudspeakers to perform their attacks. So in the first step, our system identify and filled out multiple sound voice commands coming from multiple car loudspeakers. The key features is to distinguish the multiple sounds and the single sound voice is that if a voice command is played through multiple loudspeakers, the arrival time of voice with different paths would be different. So for the microphone, the same signal will be received multiple times in a short time period. The overlap of the received signals will expand the signal correlation in the time domain. So we use autocorrelation analyze to identify multi source voice commands. If a voice comes from a single source, it, it will have a narrow autocorrelation function. If a voice comes from multiple sources, it will have a wider autocorrelation function. After that, the remaining challenging is what if a voice comes from a single loudspeaker? So in the second step, in the remaining single source commands, our system identify human voice and uh, fills out non-human voice. Non-human voice can come from car loudspeakers as well as the smartphone loudspeakers. In this step, we use two demand verification to identify the human voice. Voice must pass two checks. One is a frequency demand verification. We will check the power spectrum of the voice commands. Another is a time demand verification. We will check the local extrema radio of the voice command. In the first check, the frequency demand verification is commonly used to defeat replay attacks. This method is based on the tempo difference between human voice and the replay voice. From the figure, we know that although the replay voice has the same frequency components with the human voice, but due to the limited size, the loudspeaker can suppress the signals in the low frequency range. So the sharp decrease in the low frequency components 
will increase the relative radio of the high frequency components. As a result, in the replay voice, the power distributions of frequency components could be different from human voice, and it will lead to a different timbre. Therefore, in our system, we use the characteristic of different power distributions and uh, calculate the radio of the low frequency power to the total power to distinguish the human voice and the replay voice. Second check is uh, time demand verification. Recently, the attacker can build an inverse filter based on the speaker frequency response and use the inverse filter to compensate the voice signals and perform more advanced modulated replay attacks. In that case, the modulated replay voice has the same frequency component with human voice, and they will have the same frequency spectrum. So it can bypass the frequency demand verification. Fortunately, we can mathematically prove that the modulated replay voice always have ringing artifacts that are small oscillations in the time demand signals. So we use a local extremer radio to detect the malicious voice. Local extremer radio is a radio of the extremer number within a local window to the total length of the signal. Greater local extremer radio can indicate the ringing artifacts. If a voice command can pass both the frequency demand verification and the time demand verification, we identify it as a human voice. In the third step, as we have get the human voice commands, we need to further identify the driver's voice and fit out the passenger's voice. Because of the fixed internal structure of sedan, the driver and the different passengers will have different voice propagation directions. Because the voice with different propagation directions can have different arrival time to these two microphones, and the time difference follows the arc cosine relationship with the voice propagation angle. So we can use the method time difference of arrival to estimate the voice propagation angle. As we can see from the figure, the angle range to these two microphones can be divided into multiple small pi regions. If the propagation angle lies in the driver's detection region, the voice command could be accepted by the automatic speech recognition system. And because of the arc cosine relationship in the driver's direction, we can have the highest detection precision. That is why these two microphones are oriented with a 45 degree angle to the vehicle. And uh, that is a whole design in our system. Then we implement a system prototype and uh, conduct lots of experiments in real world. We use Toyota camera in our test bed. The sedan has four loudspeakers installed in four corners. We use a digital recorder, DR40 as our dual microphone. It has two microphones that can capture voice signals at the same time. And the distance between these two microphones is 10 centimeters. We also use a Dell XPS laptop to act as the electronic control unit in the vehicle. Our real world testing on this sedan are on the different vehicle driving states, including idling, driving on local streets, and driving on highway. Idling means driving a vehicle engine, but the vehicle is not in motion. 
the car is in a low noise environment. Driving on local streets means that the car runs at a low speed of about 20 miles per hour. Driving on highway means that the car runs at a speed of 50 miles per hour with the highest level of environment noise. In the experiments of detecting multiple speakers, we test the detection accuracy for different number of speakers under different situations. The total accuracy is about 83% in idling. Also, we can see when using one speaker or four speakers, the detection accuracy would be higher than other situations. And uh, in the most cases, attackers will use all the loudspeakers to perform attack. So our result is acceptable. In the experiment on identifying human voice, we can see that frequency dementia can distinguish the human voice and the replay voice efficiently, while the time demand check can distinguish the human voice and the replayed, modulated replay voice. So finally, the detection accuracy of human voice can achieve about 95% to 97% on different situations. In the third step, we show that the time difference of arrival can efficiently distinguish the driver and different passengers. The total accuracy is about 96.8%. And in the table, the table shows the precision is high enough to get the distinguished result. Finally, our experimental results show that our system can efficiently defeat of a several voice command attacks. We only need to replace the in-vehicle single mi microphone with a low-priced dual microphone and uh, implant the detection module in one vehicle electronic control unit. By analyzing the time complexity and space complexity of our algorithm, the running time for a voice sample is 214 milliseconds in a single call model. And uh, it will occupy the memory of 144 meg megabytes. So our system can be well supported by the modern in-vehicle computing platforms. Right now, we implement the code with my lab, but we believe optimized C code or assembly code may further accelerate the processing and reduce the running time. Also, it has some issues to discuss in our work. In real-world situation, the driver may lean forward or lean to the right side on the armrest. In that case, the driver's voice may fall into the angle range of passengers. Also, the person sitting directly behind the driver can lean forward and uh, have his head near the headrest of the driver's seat. The passenger's voice can fall into the angle range of the driver. For these special cases, we can develop a spectrum assisted detection mechanism to dynamically track the driver's voice movement. In this mechanism, if a voice satisfies two requirements, we can also recognize the voice command. One is a spectrum requirement. The spectrum histogram of wake up command should be similar to the previous one it can prevent the passenger's voice. Another is an angle requirement. The voice movement should be within an acceptable wider range. It can help us identify the driver's voice more robustly. 
Also, our system design is customized to one particular sedan right now, but we believe our system can be extended to other vehicle model or future driverless car models. For example, we can use mirror placement in left driving countries. Also, it is possible to deploy more microphones or even a microphone array in the future design. It can help us get a better performance. Also, if we use microphones with higher sampling rates or denoising algorithms, we can have a higher measurement precision. Finally, our technologies can be adopted in other applications such as smart home systems or IoT systems, where some sources have relatively fixed locations. In conclusion, we proposed SIEV system. It is a secure in vehicle automatic speech recognition system that can defeat virus adversarial voice command attacks on voice controlled vehicles. We use a three-step scheme to identify the driver's voice, that is detecting multiple speakers, identifying human voice and non-human voice, and identifying driver's voice and passenger's voice. And our experimental results show our system can achieve a high detection accuracy in real-world situations. Thank you for your listening. If you have any questions, you can contact me by the following email address.